Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I want to talk about how do you manage your pepper seed starts, your pepper seedlings, when they've been growing for about three weeks. These are my peppers. I have a lot more, but for the video, a bunch of different varieties. And I started these actually on January 11th. Today I think is uh, February 7th. But these are the different varieties that I'm growing. And I do keep a list so that if I ever and I've done it before, knocked out the sticks in here. I have an order that I can figure out what's what. So three weeks into growing, I've done videos on planting, feeding, and all that kind of stuff. But now you're at the point where some of your peppers are getting to a good size. And these are my Tabasco peppers. And they've grown. The first leaves that come out of the ground aren't true leaves. So that's a set you don't count. But then their first set of true leaves are quite large, and now a second set of true leaves are coming out. And that's about the time you have to decide what to do with your seed starts. And here I have three plants. You could divide them out. I'm actually going to cut them because I only want three of each plant for my garden this year. And although my brain is telling me it's okay to do, my heart hates cutting and killing seed starts, but I'm going to do it. Before I get to that, I want to also talk about some different varieties and I want to point them out real quick for the sake that uh, pepper plants can really germinate anywhere within seven days up to 14 days or even a little bit longer but these have been growing for oh I don't know what did I say about 26 days the 11th yeah so almost three to four weeks really we have banana peppers Baggio large red cherry, Tabasco, um, mulatto, a new variety. I'm growing a long red cayenne, Greek peppers. These are scotch bonnet, another Greek. This is a, let's see, banana pepper, Anaheim pepper, hot lemon, another cayenne, green pepper, yellow pepper. Why is that important? Look at the difference. The Anaheim are just germinating four weeks into it while the Tabasco peppers are growing their second set of true leaves. So peppers will germinate at different times. You want at least 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Peppers tend to like it closer to 80, but my closet stays somewhere between that and they do okay. If you have peppers that are slow to germinate, they probably just need more heat. Now, once your peppers get their second set of true leaves, and I always recommend in my planting videos, put in two or three seeds because you don't want to be waiting around for seeds to germinate that weren't. So if you put in more, you have a better chance of germination. Once they get to size, you could gently pull them out, but that actually can tear roots of the other plant. Pick the one that's the strongest, cut out the other two, and this kills me. You could divide them if you have the room and you have need, but I don't. Look in the next cell. Cut the stem. This is also coinciding with the time that I'm feeding the peppers. When they get their first true leaves, that's when you want to be giving them a half strength liquid fertilizer. I usually use a uh, synthetic fertilizer for different reasons. Again, pick the strongest one, cut it out. And now I'm going to have three extremely strong Tabasco peppers for transplants coming down the line. And it does. I mean, I feel bad cutting those out, but it's what you got to do. So this is how you can get three outstanding uh, germinated peppers. These will grow into nice seed starts. I'll do videos in our transplants. I'll do videos on how do you transplant them into cups and take care of them, you know, in weeks five, six, and seven. Hope you enjoyed the video and it gives you a little bit idea of how to manage your pepper plants, the different rates that they germinate, um, what you need to do when you get the size, and, you know, take care of them. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my YouTube videos. Thanks.